Well, we haven't seen much snow in our region yet this year, but we know it's coming. I sat down recently with Republican photographers Don Trieger and Dave Roback to look at some of the more memorable winter storm images they've captured in this month's look through the lens. This is what I call my Fred Flintstone moment. You're driving along and all of a sudden you see a St. Bernard in the snow. This was in Holyoke. You gotta get it. You have to get it. Get it. Beginning of the shift, it's snowing. You know you got your picture for the day. <laughs> yeah, because you know the editor said, get me some weather shots. Yes. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. There you go. Let's, let's go. Next one I'm pretty sure is yours also, Dave. And I, I love this one. There it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Court great. Square. And it did finish snowing. And the lovely folks in the uh, Department of Public Works were clearing the sidewalks. So and, I just, that wind effect. and I just thought it was a humorous photo. Yeah. I mean, you've got the three wise men trudging through the snow. It's not something you see every day. Let's go to our next shot, which, which again, this is kind of a favorite because it's my favorite thing to do when it's a snowy day. Get the heck inside. Absolutely. Is this? This, is this, this, this is my, my picture. Tree. Now, there's you know, different ways to deal with the storms. You got the people outside trudging through the snow. And this guy was in Starbucks in Amherst. Um, just enjoying the snow. He had a great, warm, cozy spot. It was a nice juxtaposition, and I just had to take the picture. And I mean, the, the beauty of the way the windows are, they frame the windows on. It looks like, is that the fire department across the street? It, it is, like actually, it okay, is. Okay, yeah, yeah. You've been to that okay. Starbucks. Yeah, I am picturing that. <laughs> well, I've been through Amherst. And you got the two other folks walking a dog framed in the one spot. I mean, you, it's just, it's all balanced, it's got everything. Let's go to the next picture, which this one just kills me. I love that shot. You got an ice box covered with snow and ice. Yeah, it, it's, sometimes it's very cold and it's an ice box out there. And there's another thing is going to work and you're always looking for something different. And this was in Holyoke and just going up one of the side streets, whether it was Elm Street or whatever. And if it was another one, you just have to find a place to park and grab the photo. That wasn't through your windshield? No, that was <laughs> not. I actually got out of the car for that one. Very good, very good. The next one, <clears throat> I love as well. Now, uh, tell me the truth. Who, whose is that? Is that? No, okay, that Dave's. Now, that didn't, you're driving through town one day in the spring or something, and you say, this is where I'm coming back with a stepladder for a snowstorm. This, no. well, it wasn't a stepladder, but it was a monopod and a okay. wide-angle lens. Wow. And this happened to be the last day of winter, and the next day was the first day of spring. And we see these things all the time. There's Winter Street in, uh, in Springfield. There's right. Spring Street in Holyoke. Yeah. This was in Holyoke. It's spring in Maine. And a lot of times when you're photographing, you don't know exactly what you're going to get. And I got lucky with the snowplow. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just amazing that you get the plow there. Someone should have photographed him with the camera on the yeah. monopod in the middle of a snowstorm. That would have been a better picture. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to our next one. This one, again... It, it, it shocks you. It's not what you're expecting, but uh, you this, see it, right? This was in Munson after we, we had a really big storm. It was one of those named storms last year. And you know what we do? We drive around. And I happened to be out in our metro section, metro east section, in Munson. And it just, it was there. So you get out of the car and you take a picture and you hope it's, you hope it translates to what you saw in your head. And, and it, this one did. I love this one. The, the next picture... I love because this next one says to me, how many more of these storms are we going to have? I mean, you know, whenever that was in the winter, this guy's got to get someplace and it, well, it's not fun. If that's what you got from that picture, then I did my job because that's exactly what I was trying to, to portray in that picture. So it worked and I, it was just, it summed it all up. We were sick. Everybody was sick and tired and uh, it showed it. <laughs> Let's have the next one, which th this one is, is, this is a Christmas card. The next one, I mean, this is great. This is just, I, I would imagine a Hallmark spending thousands of dollars to set up everything that is in this next picture. And you couldn't do it. Mr. Roback, yours. Uh -huh. uh, quick story behind this. Usually the most important snowstorm of the year is the first snowstorm of the year. Yeah. And at that time I had, I think, a hockey game downtown. I went back to the paper, put my stuff in, Somebody says it's snowing. And when someone says it's the first snowstorm of the year, out you go. everybody <laughs> goes yeah. out. Yeah. And luckily at 1030 at night in Springfield, there was still people on Main Street. 
and with the big snowflakes on the lampposts, I think it made a pretty picture. I mean, you got the car, you got the, the shoppers rushing home with their presents. There you got it, right in the center of the street. I love Peter the, Pan lights the, in the, the background. The red halo that that stoplight made, I think, is just fantastic. It makes the picture. It's great. It's got it all. It's got it all. A couple of more that, again, it just say so much. There you go. Whose this, is that? Th Dave's. This was mine. This was during one of the blizzards in Springfield where I think they let half the town out all at once at like <laughs> 2 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Right. So there you sit. And no one could move. <laughs> and so I think this is Bridge Street. and uh, Looks it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. people were cleaning off cars because they were stuck and they couldn't move and the snow was coming down faster than they could clear it. Was that from the parking garage? Yes, it was. And, and the beauty of that, so you go up in the parking garage and get that. Again, that's one of the pictures the next day. Everybody said, yeah, that happened to me. I got stuck. <laughs> it took me forever to get home. And that's exactly what you wanted to get across. Well, great pictures, great efforts. Gentlemen, thank, thank you, you so much. See you again next time. Dave Roback, Don Trieger, thanks for coming Thanks, in. Jim. Remember to buy a newspaper.